Quotes from, George Mulla. From the Kindle, Deep Christian Quotes and Bible Verses. First Quote If anyone desires to live a life of faith and trust in God he must not merely say that he trusts in God, but must really do so. Often individuals profess to trust in God, but they embrace every opportunity where they may directly or indirectly tell someone about their need. I do not say it is wrong to make known our financial situation, but it hardly displays trust in God to expose our needs for the sake of getting other people to help us. God will take us at our word. If we do trust in Him, we must be satisfied to stand with Him alone. Second quote. The individual who desires to live this way must be content whether he is rich or poor. He must be willing to live in abundance, or in poverty. He must be willing to leave this world without any possessions. Third quote. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Matthew 6 33. The fact that our Almighty Father who is full of infinite love to us His children, and who has proved to us His unsearchable love, in the gift of His only begotten Son, and His almighty power in raising Him from the dead, knows that we have need of these things, should remove all anxiety from our minds. There is, however, one thing which we ought to attend to with reference to our temporal necessities. It is mentioned in our verse, but seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. But in connection with this, we have also to seek His righteousness. Which means to seek to be more and more like God, to seek to be inwardly conformed to the mind of God. If these two things are attended to, then do we come under that precious promise, and all these things, that is food, clothing, or anything else that is needful for this present life, shall be added unto you. It is not for attending to these two things that we obtain the blessing, but in attending to them. Thanks.